What is going on guys? It's your boy Marcello from Ikigai Garage and Subi Sanctuary. This is another clip of the Honda Fit. The last video you saw us rolling it out of the shop and getting it prepped for the paint booth. So what we're gonna do now is we have everything epoxied. We are gonna start moving our pieces. All right guys, so we're gonna be starting with unmasking the front of the vehicle and obviously we'll work our way around. The camera will see different parts. Um, this is purely for my enjoyment because this is like probably the second time I've actually fully unmasked a car that I've personally painted or primered. Um, so it's kind of fun to unpeel and, and look at everything and how it turns out after the tape and all the plastics off. block sanding all of like the patch areas on the roof the back and then obviously we started with the mirror and door driver door that's finished so our goal today is get this complete side done we want to get the trunk finished as well We have the Honda Fit all sanded from our filler primer and some other stuff. We brought it out in today's beautiful sunlight and what we're gonna do is we're gonna blow the car off, get all the dust off of it, uh, wipe it down with some water because it is at that final stage ready for paint. This is it. We are here today in the paint booth and I'm fitting in my new super suit. So we're kind of at that final stage. This is it. The car has been masked, final wipe. We're about to put water on the floor for primer. So Jim says I used a lot of two inch tape, but I told him that if it ain't tucked in good enough, then it might run away in the middle of the night. So, but you know, again, my uh, slight inexperience. This is the fifth or fourth full entire car masking I've done so far in my life. Continuing my journey down the paint and bodywork road. I'm definitely excited because I seem to enjoy and get better at it each time. So we used our 3P plastic for the front, um, windshield, front end, engine cover, all the way behind the doors. Uh, we put a piece of paper here just to prevent any um, flapping around from the plastic when we go and spray our primer. We don't want any flakes landing in our base coats. We used the paper along the windows uh, just because it's more secure for, again, flakes not coming off the plastic. And then as well, we have the front bumper. I wanted to put in at least one bumper in the booth with the car just to kind of get some of it out of the way. It would be impossible to get everything in one shot, car and all the pieces painted. Like when we did the filler primer, it was very difficult to do everything in one shot. But this is it, this is the final product. This has been a project of mine for I'd say about almost two and a half years now. Uh, I took it on for a friend, Chris, who uh, we thought it would be a joke because, you know, we found a wide body for this Honda Fit and we were like, you know, oh dude, it was like 700 bucks, let's do it, why not? We did a lot prior to the car coming to this shop and me started to work here. We have this ridiculous color that we're gonna paint this car. We got some sweet rims. It's on Neo Motorsports coilovers. We're gonna get it painted and then in a few days we're gonna assemble it and it's gonna be freaking 
off to the races. The Honda Fit has finally seen its paint. So if you're watching this, obviously now you do know that the Honda Fit is purple. Crazy, crazy color. Before I even want to show you this, guys, I just like need to tell you how much this even this project at this point means to me like this was hilarious like again like i was explaining before it was a joke two years ago this is gonna be awesome i'm gonna show you guys the color right now it is a metallic light purple it is gorgeous parts sealed, base coated clear coated did this by myself jesse was here earlier on in the morning um you know popped up quickly for sealer and like first base coat but then pretty much from third base coat onwards was all me jesse had left so it was a lot of pressure to make sure i didn't screw up to be honest with you for my second full car paint job not too bad it's kind of like one of those things where it's like you don't want to beat yourself up. You know, you're doing great, I guess, for the skill level I'm at. But in the last six months, I'd say I was taking it a lot more seriously. Now at the Subi Sanctuary here with Jesse, he's been helping me develop my skills in multiple different areas. And um, it's definitely not a job. It's an art form, especially when it comes to painting. Sanding and prepping is pretty much a job, that sucks. But like the finished product, if, if you start it from sanding to finish clear coating, um, definitely is worth the while. It means a lot to you, you appreciate it more, being like, you know, like this was created by my hands and my hands only. Um, so super duper happy overall, like I said, 8.5 out of 10. There's always more room for improvement, but that'll come with time and some experience. So super happy I was able to do this job and these things turned out amazing. So now that the uh, panels have been painted, as you can see, uh, we're gonna start uh, installing them on the car. Yeah, that purple is nice. Oh yeah. Sweet. Wow, it looks cool seeing it all together. Uh -huh. 